Hey friends, Flair here. Tonight we're going to talk about setting up voice commands for your stream using streamer.bot. Let's get into it. Okay, let me give you a few examples from my stream where I've used voice control to control the actions within streamer.bot. Um, essentially what you can do is you can make it so that it listens to the things you say and based on certain words or phrases you can have it trigger an action in streamer.bot. That's uh, the gist of it. Um, you can do fun things. I have um, like if I say the word glasses. There we go. Um, also my death counter is tied to voice control so I can say reset deaths increment deaths, decrement deaths, um, and it controls my death counter so I can keep playing um, and not have to type commands or things like that. Um, my whole thing is trying to figure out ways to uh, self-moderate my stream and tools like voice control let you do things and even trigger powerful commands using uh, keywords. Um, that only you know and since it's only listening to you and not chat you don't have to worry about your moderators typing it and not understanding what it's going to do or whatever you do have to worry about accidentally saying the word though um another fun one uh i could say d20 and it'll roll die for me it's one of my favorite oh nice that's a good omen all right let's show you how to get some of this set up I'm going to use one of my favorite examples of voice control for my my own stream. Um, uh, basically, when I say the word duty, which happens a lot in Final Fantasy XIV, which I play, I want to trigger this action that I already have set up that plays a sound and shows a GIF um, on the screen. Uh, that's how I pronounce it. Don't at me. It's GIF, not GIF. Um, anyway. I want to say the word duty and have this action trigger. The very first thing you need to set up is go into settings here under voice control. Make sure it's using your audio input device correctly and click start listening. If you have it on auto start listen, you don't have to come in here and start it. It just starts when the, when the bot starts up. There's also a confidence threshold you can mess with. Um, basically the idea with that is if it's not sure what you said, you didn't enunciate really well, um, then it if it's not totally sure, or if it's like in this case, if it's not at least 10% sure, it just drops it and doesn't, doesn't fire anything. Um, okay, so once that's set up, you can go ahead and go into commands. I'm going to create a new voice control command by right clicking, clicking add, and then I'm going to type duty as the name and then duty as the command as well. The command is what it is actually listening for, whereas the name is just the name on this list. Oops. Um, I'm going to use location anywhere so that it listens for the word in any part of my statement instead of just the beginning or uh, matching on the entire statement. Um, it will, should just match any time I say it, whether it's mid-sentence or the at the beginning or at the end, doesn't matter. I'm also going to check stop after, as I've found that helps with the anywhere location. I'm not exactly sure what that does, to be totally honest. Um, and then I'm going to select the action itself. Uh, I'm going to press OK, and we will see if it works. Now, if I say the word duty, should trigger that action. Do what he means, pro. It does. There we go. One problem I found with setting up voice commands is that I don't always enunciate everything properly, uh, especially when I'm in the middle of a boss fight or whatever, and I'm uh, or I am just speaking too fast or whatever. Sometimes what I say doesn't come through to the bot the way that I would expect because it's a computer and it's just guessing at what I said. Um, the nice thing is, inside of streamer.bot, under the voice control tab, there's a log where you can see exactly what it thinks you said each time. Once you pause, it gives you a new line of what it thinks you said. 
So this is infinitely useful when you're setting up voice control. Um, I've used it to also set up additional commands where uh, it commonly, commonly thinks I'm saying something different enough that I wanted an additional command to catch that and trigger the same action. An example of that is my poke catch command. So if I say poke catch, um, it will type it out for me, type the command for me so I can play the Pokemon community game catch in the middle of my gaming and not have to stop and type. And um, it's great. So unfortunately, sometimes it thinks I'm saying poking catch and not poke catch. Um, so I set up an additional command to listen for that. Once I, once I found in the log that that's what I thought I was saying, I set up an extra command for it. Um, so that's just a tip that'll help. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was useful. Um, please reach out with comments and if you have questions um, or need help figuring out something in particular with this setup, I'm always happy to help. Um, I find, I feel like it's my duty as a streamer to share my knowledge. Duty means poop. It does. That's right. If you thought this was uh, useful or enjoyable, um, please subscribe. Uh, like the video, add comments if you can. I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, uh, suggest new topics for further videos. Um, whatever you can. Share it. Love you. Bye-bye.